What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis, coming to you with the last of the breakdowns. 4.6 points, 2.3 assists, 1.7 rebounds, 64 from the free throw, 31 from three, 34 from field. And I just want to make a big thing out of this. He's only playing 21 minutes a game, so his stats ain't going to be that impressive. First thing I was talking about is NBA ready skill set when he got drafted. They were talking about his decision made. You see, get out on fast break, get some passes. You see, he can even cut to the paint, get some, draw some defense, and kick it out to the shooters. He can even run the pick and roll, especially with a finisher like Rudy Gobert, who can just dive to the right basket and finish. He even got Derrick Favors, who can nod it on a mid range jump shot and pretty much play out the pick and roll, too. So he got multiple ways to play make and get his teammates involved. And look at that pick and roll and the screen and roll. He's perfect at that already. Next thing I want to talk about is potential. He's 6'6", so rebound is going to be a huge factor since he got the height and the, and the ability to be athletic already. They born things that he got. So he can easily be a 4.4 4 rebounder, but I think he can go higher than 4. If his minutes is higher, I can see him being a 6'7 rebound guy. So that's just my opinion, though. But I think his potential is there for those rebound stats to be that good. Next thing that's his potential that I want to break down is his ability to score. He needs to keep working on his spot-up shooting. But he can definitely be a spot-up three-point shooter and a knockdown three-point shooter if he keep working on his game. He only 20. And on top of that, he you sink the floater. He can get to the paint, drop some floaters in. He need to get a little pull-up game, too. But he, he, he got a lot of potential in scoring because he got the height and he can score in the post, too, in the future. Now y'all favorite part of the video, the long rant. He basically need to work on his jump shot. That's his biggest weakness, his scoring ability. But I don't really worry too much about it because he's real young. I don't think I'm overstressing like everybody else doing. He need to work on this. He's working on this. As long as he can run a pick and roll, he can knock down a three timely, and he can still go to the paint and score. He still need to work a lot on his offensive game, his pull-up game, his pull-up off the dribble, his step, get some, some dribble moves that he can create some jump shots because he's going to eventually have to be a person that's going to be able to score. But he just now getting minutes. He's just now starting. So he's showing potential that his jump shot did improve. He's shooting 31%, but in, in overseas he was horrible from the jump shot. Now he's actually getting some floaters. He's actually knocking out some threes. And he's shooting the ball with confidence. And that's the best part about it. He believes that he can make it. He's not scared of taking the shot. So he know he can make it. He know he's been putting a lot of work in. He got the confidence and the ability to knock down the shot. Another thing I want to work on, he just got to keep working on his turnovers too. It's not a big thing, which is impressive for a rookie. He actually holds onto the ball good. He doesn't turn it over. I think he can be a 20, a 10 assist guy with only like two turnovers, kind of like a Chris Paul. I'm not saying he don't play nothing like Chris Paul, but I think he can have low turnovers because he's just patient. He doesn't rush things and he reads the defense, which is a good thing. Because he, when I'm watching these games and the games before, he really don't rush anything. He literally just takes his time, runs the play. He makes sure the pass is where it's supposed to be. He makes sure the people are where they at. And he making sure the defenders can get the ball. So he has a high basketball IQ for a point guard. Another thing I want to talk about is his defense. Since he's 6'6 six, six and he's athletic, I think he can be a very, very good defender in the future. We never, we won't know. It's just all about work ethic, and that's the whole point of potential videos. We hope this is what they're going to be, but it's up to them to see it come true because they're the one that's got to work hard and pull all the work in. I'm just analyzing what he do. So the biggest things, he got to work on his offensive game. He needs to become a two-way player because he's not really a defender. Work on some anticipation on the steals. Work on pinning ball layups off the backboard and stand in front of his man. So he just got to work on his offensive game and develop some type of defense. His rebounding is already good when he gets the minutes. He just got to pick that up. But I think that's just going to come with the minutes. Same with the scoring. The more minutes they give him, when they give him 35, 40 minutes, he get, he can get a little bit more comfortable how the defense is going to play him. And that's going to help him offensively because he can pick his spots when the score. I'm not looking at Dante Exxon to be a 20 and 10 guy. I'm looking at him more to be like a 15 15 points, 8 assists, and 8, 10 assists guy. That's why I want to see him do in the next three years, especially when he gets more minutes. I want to be around 15 and 10 assists, 15, 8, 8 points, kind of like a Ty Lawson. And I still want to give him at least one steal a game. He needs to improve his free throw shooting. 64 is bad, but I think that's a total of him not getting a lot of free throw attempts. 
we know he don't have a jump shot, but he don't shoot that many free throws. He shoot less than one free throw a game because he don't get the minutes. So I think if he just still needs to just work on the jump shot, that's his primary focus. But he also needs to get some dribble moves so he can get a little offensive game and get some pull-up jump shots, some step-back jump shots, and get some better in-rhythm shots in general. He just needs to keep working on that. So that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Comment, like, subscribe. Check out my older video. Like this video. Like my older video. Subscribe. Also, free, free to leave video suggestions. I pretty much knocked out all the rookies for y'all. I'm going to upload Jordan Clarkson today with this video. So if you like these videos, subscribe. Also, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of y'all day. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis, signing out. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.